Same dream. Whose will come true? up his 50th win in his previous match against Berrettini. Judy, his mum. Shane is physio in the uh, front row there. And I believe Leon Smith, GB Davis Cup captain, Matt Gentry, his agent. determined at the start of the match look at the moves to the left to get the space and he'll be whipping a second serve out there pretty quickly to try and stop him from doing that but that is the danger that lurks on that wing see that coming. A strange drop shot, I thought, from Murray. Todd Langman, Todd Lay, his fitness trainer, Jana Siegel in attendance. to Shapovalov straight off the back of it as well. Not sure you and I understand algorithms well enough to understand those numbers, though. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't have had the numbers like that, personally. serve when it's hot, hasn't he? He hits his spot so beautifully. Lovely fluid motion. a matchup that won't win for Kokonakis. How does he get out of it then? To, well, he, he's got to go more to the Murray forehand, I think. But he, he's got to, you know, his whole plan is to base his serve, his, his game around his serve and his forehand, Fanasi. But the two-hander from him is not a good matchup with the Murray two-hander. It's one of the best we've seen in the last 30 years, the Murray backhand. I think go to the forehand, maybe. Open up an opportunity for his own forehand. That's where he does the damage. 
Interesting. Already on the outside, Andy was uh, up close on the baseline. Of course, Berrettini, we noticed that he returned the second serve of the Italian on the outside way back, not something that he normally does. Because he had that legacy of being a great player, he's getting cagey, maybe too, sneaking in beautifully. <laughs> Sees the preparation. So as soon, as soon as you see that one-handed preparation, it, it's looking like a slice. You've got a much better chance of receiving an easier volley. Good stuff from Murray early there. Oh, a big miss, though. Gee, I'm not sure we saw a miss like that in Adelaide for the four matches off the forehand. But sometimes that's what the aura of a player like Murray can do to you. Yep, you can never underestimate the reputation tax that some of these players have to pay when they come onto court with them. And here's a couple of break points early on for Murray. Please. This is good. It's what these fans have come for. And Kokonakis trying to dig himself out of trouble in his opening service game. It looks high risk, but Kokonakis' forehand is that good that he would have backed himself to have made it. slide up a hand there just the moment before he hit that last forehand you would have backed him to win this point but he dumps it unusual And what we're already seeing as well is a continuation of Andy's first round where he stood up tight on the baseline and tried to force. And I think it's a it's obviously a you know it's going to be a strong tactic in play here to try and rush the Nasi. Done a great job already on the second server finding the Nasi's backhand off the return and that's what he's looking for. Rhythm is continuing on Fanasi's serve. He's, he's capable of doing this for long periods of time. Not sure I'd seen him serve better than, than last week in Adelaide.
two very different Swedish games at the start of this match. But exactly the same outcomes. They both hang on and the perfect blend of oxygen and anticipation in the atmosphere tonight. Great start. Only the opening service game for Kokonakis, but it really started to feel as though it had significance. for the speed gun after that particular survey who was uh, looking for it to the right but he only found it on the left as uh, be tonight I think when it's cold that he'll be looking at his service speeds quite carefully to make sure that they stay up in the range that he's expecting them to Turn there, his, his back end's going well so far. And on this first court, Andy knows he's going to run around and take a few forehands as well. Good reaction to actually win this point, Murray. So he'll want to hit a lot of first serves on this first court in particular, I think. Because the second one always fades. He, he doesn't kick it, he fades the second ball. Ball. And there's times here when Kokonakis will move to his left and look for the forehand. <laughs> so how, how good is this going? Because, because he's hit two cold winners off second serves past Andy Murray, whose first step is, step is still as quick as most players. He's a long way back and he generates enough pace to beat Murray easily. It's impressive. It's world class for me. He's not lacking pace on the backhand as well. I think uh, a lot of people underestimate the pace of shot on Kokonasi. Maybe it gives up a few more errors, but it's a big hit. There is a lot of firepower. Is Murray to being a spectator to his brilliance. Yeah, and, and this is preordained, isn't it? Pre planned to go after Murray's second serve because it is not his strongest weapon. It's certainly not his forte. So Kokonak is trying to intimidate the, the legend with his forehand here. And, and it's starting to work a little bit, I think. This would be in Andy's mind. He needs first serves on this first court, I think. Just says about Kokonakis' boy and how fast it is and how he thinks it compares to Berrettini's. It is big. It's, it's obviously doesn't have the same uh, revolutions, but it's fast from A to B. It's extra, and it's he's getting depth on that ball as well. Let's go. The start of the match, would you have picked? Andy. Okay. Could be some of his career doing some heavy lifting there as well, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 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 
Federer in Miami 2018. Roger didn't give up any wins to anybody. 175th in the world back then was Kokonakis, of course, after the injuries. Of course, he's been around a long time as the Australian. First ranking point eight days after his 15th birthday in 2011. Oh. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, please have a final report to not move the flags during play. Thank you. Oh. Oh. A touch untidy on that forehand. There's a lot of pressure on that stroke alone to produce the goods tonight. There's times when he's already making the court look faster than it is, Kokonakis. <laughs> it's not easy to beat Murray from there, going backwards, is it? His, his speed, and I don't want to get seduced by speed too often in tennis, but it is a good indicator of things that are important. His speed are right up there with Berrettini on his forehand. Kokonakis consistently around 80 miles an hour on his forehand side. That may have come about because of the damage Kokonakis has done already off the second serve. Kokonakis wants some uh, shutter speed mm -hmm. silence. Yeah. I'll just clip him around the ears down here. <laughs> And which is why Kokonakis is picking it up. It was Murray 
who is asserting a little bit of pressure on the Kakanakis' opening service game, mm -hmm. but it is the Australian now that has the opportunity to grab the first break. see that play a fair bit tonight which sounds a little and seems a little counterintuitive to go to the Kokonaskis <laughs> forehand but he's going to go there out wide on the juice side to get to the backhand side with his first shot after his serve mm -hmm. <laughs> These are the big points for me, the juice points, the 30 all ones. Second serve to the first court, especially. Mm. 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 And that ball, I thought, looked like it was worth a question, but it must have, must have caught a millimetre of the line on the outside edge. This one. Through the air, it looked like it was going out. talk about the subtle pace on his backhand side doesn't seem to do a lot but he can get it right up close to 80 miles an hour off that wing as well and and the issue is Thanasi will sit on that a little bit because he knows that Andy's trying to pick on that side so he can actually set up and rifle it back as he just did then chances with it once he'd let it bounce he was barely 50 50 to win the point had to take that in the air i think least favorite shot undone by kokanakis's most favorite shot makes the first move to the delight of his fans it's 3-2 first set played the match out but he still had to be around for 24 hours with those emotions warming up for matches warming down
15, lovely. It's quick out wide as well, isn't it? A lot of people get a lot of cut on it, but Kokonakis' wide serve on the juice is fast. 186. Yeah, it won't be as fast as the one down the tee on the first court. That measures the fastest. He'll get that well over 200, but yeah, that is a big one wide. Get that near the line, you've got no chance. He, he just looks like he's hitting through the slowness of the conditions way better. And he is way better than Andy. And he's not sort of breaking an egg yet. And I, and I don't know whether it's that he's not getting pace on the ball or whether he's a fraction sluggish. Oh, it's tough to tell up here, Roger, and at some stage I'd love you to chime in and, and tell us what you think about Andy's movement so far. Well, first of all, I don't think he feels like the ball's responding quickly off his racket. So there's one, and he's he's suggesting that it is tight conditions. I'm, I mean, it's it's it is cool. There's no doubt about that. And I've got to give credit for Thanasi. He's keeping his uh, he's he's not getting forced back, and he's he's keeping the play right up to Andy. So. someone trying to generate more speed than he felt comfortable. He's not a guy that likes to change his tension too much. You know, maybe one or two pounds, Andy. He likes it pretty tight. I did ask him after his first match whether he changed his racket at, at, at all because he had tried back in 2021. But it, he said to me, it's still the old faithful, but he doesn't like to change it. And because it's quite a tight head and tight string pattern, it, it does have a big impact when the conditions are slow in terms of him being able to generate pace out here. He will be having a, a swing a little bit harder to get the same pace that he had against Berrettini. To me, Andy's going to have to lift here. He hasn't started out of the blocks real well. And Thanasi looks so comfortable, doesn't he? at the moment, Kokonakis. The Australian arrows another one in and more breakpoint opportunities. 
Yeah, so that wide, isn't he? Drove that one back, gave Murray a little bit of pace to work with, to be honest. And how he would like the insurance break here as well, Kokonakis. Grand Slam in the uh, blue top just at the back there behind Matt Gentry who's sitting in the front row. <laughs> Canny defence, as they say in his part. Advantage, What he's doing even better tonight, Fitzy and Pitch, is with his ball striking, is off the backhand side for Nasi. The loveliness of Kokonakis's forehand brings the Australian fans to their feet. And it is a rare thing of beauty, isn't it, this shot? He is absolutely uncorking it right now. with the movement, isn't he, Fitzy? Well, he's, he's, he's wary. He's wary of the forehand. So it's in his mind all the time when he hits a second serve, what's Kokonakis going to do here? And he has gone wide a couple of times. Cocky, even if he misses that when he goes wide, it's still a threat the next time, but, it, but he's actually made it as well. So Andy really needs a high percentage of first serves, I think, here. Pretty good so far. He's up he, every two out of three. He's hitting in the court, but it still seems like he's under pressure all the time. The threat on his second serve is—it's real. He's got new balls here too, and you can only imagine that that would help this serve. Faster through the air. Second service. Oh, what reactions from 
from both players. Incredible instincts. time a player has felt as though the ball coming out of the cans isn't feeling uh, as pressurized as it should it will be interesting to see whether Andy over time gets so a read on Thanasi said what he's been good at as you'd know Petch over his career has been able to work out some patterns but Thanasi's happy to serve all round the surface box on both sides yeah that's the one thing that's always sort of stood out for me that he can hit four, all four corners equally well and it doesn't really feel as though there is a particular serve that he's going to hit in a certain position. He feels it in the moment. And that makes him very dangerous. Yeah. And he's hitting three out of four first serves into play right now, which is very high too, especially at this speed. Just can't get a read on it and can't get a racket on it a lot of the time. That makes it hard to break. Every single shot he's hit after his serve, Kokonakis, as you can see, is with his favoured forehand. Murray won't hunt it as much, and he'll be uh, relatively happy with 60%. He'll probably be like to be up around 70, but just goes to show how well Kokonakis has returned in this opening set as well as served. situation when he's opened up a 30 love lead that you would perhaps feel he would want to go down the tee here and just keep Kokonakis a little honest on the juice side he may think the value of this game is too high and stick with the pattern that he feels is going to produce the point for him to do the basics so well. Great depth on the return. at the moment has Kokonakis. I mean, there's something special about this forehand, isn't it? I mean, you know, 
Having hit a few tennis balls in our time, you know how difficult it is to do something exceptional, and there is something extraordinary about that forehand. Yeah, it's racket head speed with ease. Just a little too much side spin on it. And the margin of Kokonakis' lead reduced to the one game, but he will serve for the first set. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we kind of take for granted that he's just hit a winner from there, but I mean, it's actually not that easy. Not when your body weight's going backwards and you're two metres behind the baseline. That, that's very hard. Over the high part of the net. Everything about that, for me, was a hard forehand. Kokonakis's opening service game taking on even more significance now, isn't it? Chances for Murray to break, they came and went. Kokonakis survived. And here he is now with three set points. As Roger says, probably incorporate that back and down the line more. Yeah, he's just creating highlight reels out here at the moment, Kokonakis. That was a good bit of tennis from Murray. It's like shelling peas isn't it right now and from that far back that's impressive he's has he got a turbo in those strings or what what is it it's coming out of there like a rocket
great sport this is when you watch a rally like that you watch the athleticism you watch the creativity the skill level here the stroke making look at this shot from Murray little flick of the wrist absolutely world-class gem of a rally from Murray and he's making his presence felt out here in this opening game of this second set from Kokonakis and Murray's not going to be able to just keep sliding it out wide on that juice side. Kokonakis was ambushing him there. are the same that was a good one that was a fun watch a lot going on out there a lot potential is zoned in here though there's no uh, outside thoughts it seems he's not engaging the crowd he's he's focused here more I think than he was in Adelaide I mean he wanted to win badly there but there was a little more hometown interaction he is zoned here his eyes are forward on the playing surface only By the way, that's a sign of respect for Andy. I mean, he's so zoned in. He knows he has to be.
as though Kokonakis' his best serve was his serve out wide on the outside. That's twice Andy's looked over to his box with a thumbs up. Thank you. As if to say, yeah, nice homework, boys. first court, Kokonakis to Murray. He, he, the one down the middle is, right now looks like his favourite on this court. So I thought he'd go wide with that one. That's the beauty of this game, right? Yeah. I mean, you can complete, you can look at as much data as you like, but yeah. if you're as good as Kokonakis, you can do everything out there on the court. You can change your patterns if you want to. Yeah. Well, part of it, part of the strategy is that you've got to try to put yourself inside the other guy's head. Where does he think I'm serving? direct it there is another thing to make it as consistently as Kokonakis has. Super impressive from the Australian. I've never heard Thanasi say, let's go. But he's just gave Andy a bit of a slam back. <laughs> That's the word that Andy's been using after winning service games. Yeah, he's, he's here to play, isn't he? Yeah, I like it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. centimeters down the net Roger I think at your level yeah it was a it was a strange no. play at the end but the Nasi did a great job of defending he's got himself a little fitter a little stronger a bit more belief in his in his body to do the work across the court that's twice now Andy's missed a shot like that half a meter down the net there Tonight, he, I think he just destroyed a moth. Did he? <laughs> He's got a butterfly on, on his leg. Isn't two players. Third. 
when pictures become painted. There's that backhand down the line Roger was calling for. It ignites Andy's passion. This is not an easy shot, by the way. Look how far back he is. That's that's ten out of ten for me. That backhand. So you're not always going to make that one. It's a risk. Just 25% of his serves being unreturned at the moment. He's having to work that much harder than Kokonakis, who's over 40% of the time not having to play a shot after his serve. That's as good as an ace, and it's a second game on the board. Get his adrenaline going here. Interacting with his box, asking for some, for some help in that area, I think. You certainly need the first point, don't you, against Kokonakis on his own serve because, and that was an opportunity for Andy, missing a pretty easy backhand return by his standards, chastising himself there. Yep, you lose the first point, it changes the complexion of the game for the server. Yeah, but it's so difficult to decipher the pattern that Kokonakis is coming in. The first point of every game, he's pretty much mixed it up in terms of where his first serve was going, whether he's made it or not. And there, of the last game where he's whipped a couple down the tees, banged that one out wide as he did to finish the last game off. And When he wins the first point, though, he, he quite often steamrolls, doesn't he? Gets his tail up. his way into the Kokonaka service games, doing everything he can to accumulate points. So far to no avail.
Phenomenal straight line speed off his ground strokes there from Kokonakis. There's less spin than Berrettini. Excuse me, Berrettini. Less spin, but probably more forward speed, do you think? For sure. Great penetration. He perhaps doesn't access the shorter part of the court as often as, as Berrettini. When you say 80 miles an hour on their forehands, though, that's forward speed, right? Yeah. So what, what I would imagine is if you hit it flatter, like Hokonakis is, it, it's getting from A to B faster. But they're the same speed, you're saying. Okay. You know, Andy must be, he's a bit, well, he'll work it out because he's so good, but he must be a bit confused. His normal game plan of staying back and rallying and wearing guy down here, not working because Kokonakis has been too dangerous. He, he might have to incorporate that tactic a little more. Maybe. Ball. Well, there's only one winner in this category tonight in terms of forehand heaviness, speed, spin, length, accuracy. And you can see there Kokonakis, he's uh, at an elite level. Murray hanging in there at the moment. Certainly his forehand cross court will do some damage. derailed him for a, a long, long time. Again, he, he fails to get the first point, does Murray, when he had a golden opportunity. Definitely getting a little bit more off this racket now. You can see it through the air. Not a lot you can do when somebody's pinging in serves at close to 200 Ks regularly that close to the line, though.
Things about to get a little more interesting than Kokonakis would like. mistakes in the last couple of points there that just burns Murray's tennis soul. Well, I think he's you know, a bit indecisive or, or not quite sure which way to go. He After he missed the one down the line, which is the, the lower percentage play that we've talked about, he's telling himself to go back across court. But that, that tactic is probably not working enough for him. I mean, it's his normal stock routine, but I, you've got to make the ball first and foremost but he's got to persevere with that one down the line I think you know his game as well as anyone Mark I, to me he's, he's he has to open the court up a little bit with the backhand down the line hit the ball a bit harder because Kokonakis <laughs> is just waiting under no stress if he goes back across court until he until Kokonakis gets a forehand Talk often, don't we, in all sports are being sort of mindset, but actually the reality is you want to be porous and pliable at times. You want your coach to persuade you to change things up. And maybe that's the territory we're entering for Murray right now. Oh. Stockpile down of ammunition, maybe a touch here on the forehand of Kokonakis. Just a couple of winners so far in this second set. There were 10 off that wing in the opening set. Mark, you we all make those little mistakes. How do you know this is coming, though? <laughs> I think the stockpile is fairly deep. It's whether he can maintain it ongoing permanently here. It might dip a, off that level sometimes. You know, Andy's serving well, and he has to. He's up at 73% for the match. That's that's really good, isn't it? And he needs it, I think. Kokonakis at 78. Big numbers. Oh. Yeah. 
take anything comfortable at the moment, and that last finishing shot was certainly that. Fourth, he is probably the best player to play on instincts at times, and, and he'd even say that. The less you think and the more you just feel is when you play that your best, and these are the moments that he used to excel at. I mean, the forehand's so big from Kokonakis. At times like that, you have to guess. You have to run one way or the other. If, if, if the ball is looping in the middle of the court here, you're handcuffed. You have to choose one side or the other. Detonates off the strings of Kokonakis. You know, when you see him play like this, you think, you know, as a 26 year old, you think, wow. How unlucky were you with your body? Yeah, that's I what guess, I think. I guess so. For the previous point, oh, after the previous point, the point before, and he said to his, he was just verbalising to his group, you can't just hit the ball back, you've just got to start hitting the ball. So he's very aware that he needs to put some more on the on the ball. Yeah. Just looking at those numbers there, significantly more, of course, for Kokonak. It's not just in pace, but also in spin, which builds safety into the shot as well. Those are some good numbers for Andy, though, on his forehand. position. He doesn't need luck to go against him here, Murray. Nothing to do with his legs. It's just the luck that went against him he's upset about. Serve like Kokonakis, you don't feel the same pressure 
I would suggest that Murray feels right now as, as much him. because he can't get the free points off the serve like Kokonakis can. And when he gets down in a game on his serve, this means a heck of a lot right now. This is a must win game for Murray. This level when he needed to, Kokonakis, and right in the middle of that rally, it was one of those subtle injections of pace on the backhand side that caught Murray out. Subtle? <laughs> it, it, it's produced the same way, but I mean, Andy was suddenly on the back foot. Yeah, but the forehand, the, the injection of pace, it was fierce, wasn't it? Thank you. And Andy just can't get the same amount of free points, Petch, can he, off the, off the serve? all on its own. Kokonakis. Ladies and gentlemen, players are ready. Can the Australian continue this fine form? Fifteen, love. That's where the spin rate helps you so much, because you can keep the pace and still keep the ball in the court just a little harder for murray to hit that shot He's been flawless, Roger, can you? But, gee, this is a high level from Kokonakis here. Same yeah, when you're watching it on court side, you just feel like once the ball's back in play on his side of the court, if he's got any time at all, the next shot's a bit routine. Just, he's so comfortable and calculated. Yeah, and he's beating Murray by metres with these shots. And he's probably again just been a little predictable with that play. He's gone cross court 80% of the time with his backhand tonight. Murray Kokonakis has been able to loiter around in the backhand corner waiting for the ball. Some strategic changes that perhaps Murray can introduce into this contest, but probably a little too late for this second set because it's in Kokonakis's hands. 
and it's two set points for the Australian. It was almost like Fanasi had a little bit too much respect to just drill that ball straight through the middle of Andy. We know what Roger would have done. <laughs> we know what Ivan would have done also, <laughs> yes. by the way. Straight through the chest. Unable to put the seal on this second set. Yes. Murray with a little penetration on the second of the set points. Was delving deep into his bag of tricks on the first one. And has an escape route open up for the former world number one in this second set. Please. Best return of the match and the most important moment of the match. Advantage, Murray. Break point. Well, that point winning this match, it may well do. Murray was magnificent there to stay in the point, and Kokonakis equal to the task. It felt like a vintage Murray moment, didn't it? Chasing what looked to be a lost cause. Ultimately, it was because of Kokonakis's brilliance. Pulsating game. Advantage for United. continues to test the temperament of the Australian but it is now a third set point <laughs> wizardry from Murray how good has Andy returned in this game, by the way? Well, I was going to say, Roger, he's at some of the lowest numbers I've seen on first serve return points one and second serve return yes. points one in his career. 
And yet in this game, when he's needed his returns the most, as you say, he's producing them. First double. Wow. Well, this uh, is the sliding door moment for one or both of these players. This game can change the fortunes of the outcome here. some memorable moments in his career, Mark, but that might be the beginning of another one. It's dangerous to let a champion like this back into the match. How will Cocky react is maybe my biggest question right now. Fitzy, it was like, and Mark, it was like Andy thought this was the last five minutes. You, this is it. Am I going to throw everything at this game and make it happen, or Thank you. it's Thank you. adios? Because he, up, he upped his tempo, he got aggressive on the ball. Wow. Goodbye, lead. Hello, momentum. That is what unconditional love looks like for something.
And perhaps the first seeds of Dutt coming into Kokonakis' mind tonight. Or I should say, this morning. yourself you've lost your serve once and you've only served, served one double fault you were nearly flawless on the serve and why can't that continue so back to the drawing board but Andy he has a little sniff thank now thank you Good signs from Kokonakis here. Still smarting a little bit, isn't he? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Just a few more off-pace shots coming from Murray. He's searching for a way to upset the rhythm of Kokonakis. job of pushing this into overtime Kokonakis in this second set it is a fitting conclusion as well
just lacked a few first serves in the game when he tried to serve out the second set. Murray was able to take advantage for the first time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Please. Some good discipline early in that rally from Kokonakis. He didn't try and overplay it. Murray should have won the point. One zero. But Kokonakis. the Australian earns the first mini break with his endeavours. Does volley with a little bit of a forehand grip, Murray, and you can see the racket face was pointing down, which is why it found the net. Uses a lot of hand in his forehand volley in general. Thank you. Well, the same attitude applies here to Murray. He's been down this set, defending, trying to claw his way back. He'll have those same inner feelings right now in the tiebreaker. intuition though I mean he got a stroke of luck didn't he Murray but as soon as it drops short he moves Three, forward one. he knows that increases his chances of winning the point hits the tape he starts sneaking in straight away because he could see Kokonakis had to come up he still had to produce beautiful touch across court under pressure The beauty of live sport, you don't know what's coming next. If Murray gets this point, he can start considering himself, or he should start telling himself, I've got the momentum, maybe I'm favourite now. It's a big if, the way this man's serving.
Well, he went and went against the ground there, Murray. His favourite pass on the forehand is cross court. And maybe he just felt in that big moment that's where Kokonakis was going to be to try and cover it. But the Australian had planted himself perfectly just off centre, covering as much as he could of the court. And he's an imposing figure, isn't he, when he comes in long reach. There wasn't a lot of room for Murray to attempt to pass there. Significance of the moment is not lost on anyone inside this arena. Oh, his forehand is outstanding, isn't it? Murray continues to ask him questions in the process of these points and to come up with shots like that and that impressive skill and guts in equal measure here from the Australian three set points have already come and gone for him on his own serve Take on shot selection. Six, two, but you'd have to consider that one of those moments. Look shot, Thank poor you. execution. The right outcome for Kokonakis. Four more set points. Please. It's always easy in these moments to kind of overcomplicate them in your mind. Kokonakis with so much success down the tee on the outside with his serve. Murray has made just a couple of forehand returns off the first serve on this side. But he has mixed it up a little bit more in recent times going out wide. Where will Kokonakis go to try and finish off this second set? sort of see it you could almost Six. hear it coming oh. couldn't you Coach, an attempt at an ace on a second ball <laughs> he's just put a lot more pressure on his own shoulders here Fanasi. And the beauty for Kokonakis is he starts this third set. He stays serving big and true and clean with his forehand. He's ahead of the count all the time, but he's going to definitely get a cut at 
the Murray serve at some point. on cross court on the return as well and Kokonakis is there that is an outrageous win Time you let him back into the forehand, into the backhand corner to hit a forehand, he's lethal. But that is two fabulous points from Murray on the outside to keep himself a shot in this opening game of the third set. So much class on show here from him. Expertly dealt with this as well. Murray couldn't have floated that any better. One strength is setting up his his other big strength. Thank you. Ready for play. in the game right there. Love 15. Well, I'm not sure if the people in this stadium realise how good this forehand was. That one was a beauty. This is better than beautiful. That is a luminous bit of skill. And it's lighting up the Melbourne night here. dangerous now he started off just as good in this third set as he's been all match and it's feeling like a heavy weight around Andy's shoulders at this moment and he's just shouting out where are you Lendl not back in the box since the end of the second set well he's lost it he's lost half of a yard Ivan It's a cold night down there. Well, that 
return said an awful lot to me about how Kokonakis is feeling right now. He could have gunned it. He could have done what he did at the start of the match, just rip a clean winner. He's not feeling an awful lot of threat. No. He, he, he feels so safe rallying with the great Andy Murray. It, it is telling. Three break points to break this match wide open. Just for a brief moment towards the end of the second set, Murray had relieved some of the pressure on himself, but he still hadn't been able to get himself back to neutral, back to level, and Kokonakis, after the tiebreaker, has come out red hot. And there's definitely just seemed like the bubble burst as well. Bit of a energy taking out of Andy. balls to help the server Ball. a long way back but if he does come back that may well just be the start of it a little bit of good fortune but plenty of purpose about that return from Murray it was another excellent serve from Kokonakis Time to regroup, regroup for Kokonakis, a little distracted by a member of the public. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please, for both players, remain quiet before their serve and during between first and second serve. Thank you. Well, the new ball hurt Cocky a little bit there. It just kept following, didn't it? He, he made the decision to go to his left to get a forehand, and the, the quickness of the new ball through the air just chased him a little bit, made him late, caused him to rush. the line 
if, if he holds this game from Love 40, you'd see him steamrolling, wouldn't you? Kokonakis. I thought he'd misjudged the approach in the end. I thought he could have gone in a little earlier, but he knows better. He knows better than anyone else right now. That is so easy to underhit. quicker than the McLaren he was driving in Adelaide right now. His serve is definitely worth more than the McLaren. shot for Murray and he came up with something very subtle and nice and it keeps his hopes alive as Fitzy yes. says you kind of feel as though Kokonakis is on his way to the third round of the Australian Open for both players, if he gets this game between first and second serve. I will say I don't think we need to be as quiet between first and second serves I mean there are many sports that have lots of distractions going on it's really not the end of the world the players should get able to be adjusting to a little more noise don't need to be playing in a cathedral here and I don't want to be playing in a cathedral this is great and that is a lovely swing and volley for Kokonakis and when you want something so much not always easy to produce advantage Kokonakis yeah, look no matter what way you look at this right now you cannot be unimpressed with the way this young man's playing. This is really high level. World class could compete with anybody on a stage like this tonight. on that forehand I'd have put your house on it <laughs> <laughs> and Rogers it actually yes. jumped up on him a little bit he he almost got it got there and took it too quickly he almost played it like it was match point well it's not the end of the world for him but that was a forehand that none of us would have thought he'd miss Oh, wow. 
Call that. Call I'm waiting for a call out. I was there. I waited. He said something. I go again. You're just saying that because you felt bad about him. That's a hundred percent. Well, what's the problem? Now? What's the problem? No, no, no. You're not waiting for shit. I'm waiting for him to stop talking. What are you talking about? What do I do with that? No, you didn't. Argue this point. Yeah, remember this happened in Adelaide last week, Fitzy, as well, when he got a code violation. He was, he was up. He was easily needed this. But you can just, you can just settle back and rock back and hit the serve again. You haven't lost a point. It's bizarre that he would argue like this, Roger. I, I have to say, I, I think he's absolutely right. He started his motion. And I don't think he should have been called on it at that particular point. No, I think she made a mistake. Yes. But, but he's he's six four seven six two love juice. Yeah, and he was he was in the zone. He was about to deliver a serve. He's got a big distraction here. He's going to have yeah. to settle down. Yeah. Just Murray may, will try and capitalise on it. He may well win this game. Amazing. Please. Brilliant return from Murray, the fist clinch. And if there was one thing you didn't want to happen after what has just gone on there, it is that if you're supporting Kokonakis. because he is not going to let that go if he loses this service game. Unbelievable running, diving, desperation, and ultimately triumph in all one rally there. <laughs> one of those moments. And he excalibers the racket Don't into the court there. Racket abuse, warning, Mr. Kokinakis. <laughs> and Murray as ever. And why wouldn't you stir the crowd up if you're Andy? Why not? Milking it. And the concern here is this right now. I see you may be worried a little bit about him loitering on the edge of the emotional volcano right now, which clearly he is, but... He's still two sets of love up and two one up. And he's a funny guy though, isn't he? Was he was he giving it to his box there, to Ivan and the coaching staff that have all come back from a bathroom break? Well, Ivan's just coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, players are ready. 
intentions. Please. You would expect Murray right now to play better as well. It's just natural to come back from something like that and step it up. Fifteen. And him of all people Love. will play better. Well, it's a lifeline that he didn't have five yeah. minutes ago. Yep. Just found a piece of breathing apparatus on the bottom of the ocean floor. to do here is hang on to his serve quickly because Kokonakis could still be cool in that emotional riptide. <laughs> he wasn't requesting. He was actually imitating the central umpire about how she was pointing a finger. Quick game from Murray. Reverse the pressure back. Time for a little bit of a, a wander to the towel for Kokonakis. A little few words of encouragement and a situation where he needs to try and stabilize his own mind here. He's uh, a yeah. little bit like a rubber ball in an elevator right now. Yeah, it's a different feel out here on the court at court level and, and also the, the crowd. They're actually they've actually quite a few of them have jumped on Andy here. Yeah. Have they seen the time, by the way? Don't tell us, Rog. Melbourne was the first ever city in the world that managed to uh, get their right as an eight hour workday, but not that they obviously didn't put in the contract the Australian Open at that stage, just sort of 24 hours a day, isn't it? This, <laughs> well, you're not calling this work what we're doing, are you? <laughs> not with you. <laughs> Turns a little deeper now, isn't he? Yeah, I, I think what happens also when, when, when you lose your marbles a little bit uh, over over an issue, your, your energy dissipates a bit. You 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 no longer, you know, as sharp as you were, and you you, you don't tolerate all of the surroundings Please. as much. It's a dangerous time here for Thanasi now. And no one's talked about whether there's any justification about having a go at the umpire. It's the fact that he jeopardized his momentum. It's not about whether it was right or wrong to me. It's he's jeopardized his his whole momentum here in this third set. Ridiculous. I'm loath to use this terminology 
with Andy Murray, but he did chicken out on the overhead a little bit, didn't he? He couldn't put it away, the overhead, and he chose to play safe. But what a forehand there from Klamasi. And that's the kind of rally and escape that snaps you back into the present, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, correct, actually. It's like going to the well with your favourite shot, isn't it? Knowing or letting it get you back into that uh, mental frame of mind that you, where you need to be. The forehand has pulled him out of the mire here so far in this game. from Murray definitely getting his ball pitch and puts you on so many more serves out yes. here as well it's... is that just Kokonakis not hitting his spots as much Roger you think he's starting to finally get a There's read a on of, it bit of a read uh, probably a bit of both but definitely yeah. a bit of read because the pace is still there The trams in this city don't run as straight as that. I mean, that just stayed on rails. There was no room for that to deviate at all. Unreal from Kokonakis. Thank you. Thank you. So few and far between that whenever someone gets a love 30 start against the server, it's significant.
Thank you. Great return of serve. Doesn't always have to be a blistering winner to catch your imagination and your eye. Chiseled it back to a length with nothing on it. Murray with all the pressure down two sets to love. Desperate to hang on to his serve. And he's earned these break points, Kokonakis. Blender tennis that he's brought to the court tonight. Barrage of firepower, but he has also brought some defense. He's put balls in court. He's been intelligent when he's needed to be. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. This won't be an easy game to win, though. Serves are going to ease the stress levels, aren't they? There's no doubt about that as he looks to close in on this win. Every free point.
16th ace. It is never easy out there in the center of the arena. Responded tonight, Kokonakis, and especially hit that backhand back down the line. I'm trying to remember the one that he's missed wide pitch, have you? No, I mean, he hit it so well in Adelaide as well. I know he didn't win Adelaide this year, but it was the shot again that caught my eye. So here we go, Mark. One of the bigger moments, maybe the biggest moment in Panasi's career. He's only been to the third round of one other Grand Slam, and that was all the way back in 2015 at the French Open. back on that backhand that was step in and I've got to get after it <laughs> 10 K's slower than his average first serve tonight from Kokonakis That 
have maximum Love velocity, 13. but not control. That short ball was not easy after you at love 30 you're feeling some nervous energy and you've got time to consider your options. That was well played. was just the third time when he's gone down the tee on the ad Very side good. and he's actually, <clears throat> excuse me, lost the point. He went back there and credit to him to stick with a winning strategy. He has harvested so many points with that particular play. Thank you. fine job of asking Kokonakis the question. He got the answer he wanted. Can he get it here as well? Break point. And this is a man that now could cock an who trusts his body. He can do the hard yards through a course of the rally. Wow, were their shots played there.
Definitely moved into another gear, Andy, with his offense, looking to be proactive, hitting with a lot of purpose and getting rewarded. strain in the ab or not we're about to find out I'm no doctor but that'd be a fair guess oh And that was his biggest forehand of the night, I would have thought. It was a statement. 153k winner from Murray as he does his own mopping up. Kokonakis for the first time or one of the first few times tonight knows what it feels like to be on the receiving end of one of those. That's what he's been doing to Murray all evening. drone it hangs over its target and then just Pink. lands on it I mean Love. Murray stopped running because he thought it was going to go wide Smart ball, wasn't it? 15. Nice and high. You're looking into the, the night sky, and it's not so easy to judge on the way down. No. He would have been better advised to have let that one bounce.
It's all Murray at the moment. And for how long? Kokonakis again missing an opportunity to get to the net to finish the point off. even better from down here patch i can tell you you oh. thought you thought andy had the absolute upper hand with this return but to cover and come up with that volley that was special in a big moment that was old school aussie Been out aced, but he hasn't been out fought. Where are you leaning? Oh, 
Honestly, I've got no idea. <laughs> isn't, yeah. that, isn't that the best thing? Uncertainty? I've got no idea. Yeah, no, I, I think <laughs> that's a fair comment, too. It's... You feel that Kokonakis can serve big here in this tiebreak, gives himself a big chance, but on the other side, but Cord Andy is playing his best tennis right now. speed for Murray in the last 15 minutes or so. Forehand is getting bigger, the danger getting bigger for Kokonakis. Murray, who's only tried to hit three first serves out wide on the outside the entirety of this set. Will he continue with his pattern down the tee or try and outfox Kokonakis here? Six games to his forehand in the last six games has Murray. And that has given him a few more opportunities to do this. Finish at the net. And you feel like perhaps that for Fanasi at the moment, he's going to probably have to get after the ball a little bit more because the force is coming from Murray's side of the court. He's coming forward a lot more, restricting the time and distance between shots. Left for service. <laughs> been a significant difference between the two on return speeds but not that time Murray matching Kokonakis and sends a bolt of lightning across the Australian and at this late time Kokonakis wasn't caught napping he was blindsided by this man's brilliance first strike for Murray in this third set breaker
Touche, says Kokonakis. That was awesome. How impressive was that from Kokonakis? Rode the wave of the rally. Went with his backhand up the line, but then had the ability to finally finish it with his weapon, the big forehand. You don't get much better than this. Better time to commentate when the sport sells itself. service going catch of the of Kokonakis in the match when he missed a couple of those with a little bit of early nerves. This Thank one was you. different. Bigger. How's that for a recovery? Fabulous. Routine, except for the pressure, that was anything but routine. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
Kokonakis, who served for the match, now needs to serve to stay in the set. Group. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Can Murray maintain this form that he's found? Thank you. Ready for play? match just keeps on giving. Just when you think maybe we'll go through a little bit of a, a sort of five, ten minute no. kind of flat line already. We're Thank peaking you. at the start of the fourth set here. Kokonakis pressing. Starts going this long, Mark. It, it, I was just down on the court surface. It's it's a different perspective, and it seems like for Andy, yeah, it's good for his tactical from his tactical point of view. But but also, I think it's a bit harder to pass. The longer the match goes, the less dynamic your passing shots become. Uh, you, your body slows down a fraction. I think he'll come Go keep please. coming in more and more, Murray. that not many people would have the flexibility within their game styles to be able to do this, to implement this kind of change and do it effectively as well. But he is one of those rare players and one of the reasons why he has been at the top of the mountain of greatness for so many years now. Sort of yes. forced to go across court with the cross court with the approach, wasn't he there? But it's the wrong way to go. The angles are tougher uh, to cover, aren't they? If you if you approach there, he wanted to go over the low part of the net because he had such a low ball. That's why I think he went there. But better off pushing it really deep into the backhand corner if you can. Uh, 
advantage. Okay, nice. Well, what makes winning possible also makes it dangerous if he is going to try and come in that much more. He's going to have to take greater risk. He's going to potentially miss a little bit more. And he has certainly tried to serve more tea on this ad side. Will Kokonakis try to cover that? change of direction he has rarely gone out wide but it's worked nicely for Murray to save that break point yes. just making sure he was chaperoning that one out. He wasn't entirely sure it was going to go long of his baseline. Already investing six minutes of hard work at the start of this fourth set. He just touched it again, maybe, and we'll show you just now, the change of the serve is because the app's been bothering him a little bit. He's done it this time. Gee, that was a great smash. I know he didn't really accelerate the racket head through there, Mark, but that was a difficult ball. Murray's so smart, yes. throwing it up so high. This was tough to time, this smash. Very tough in the dark. Well, coming out of the dark, I should say. What a boost this would be for Kokonakis if he could get a break here at the start of the fourth after what unfolded late on in the third set. He saw it at the end of the third set as well when Kokonakis couldn't serve it out. And then in the breaker as well. Advantage, Murray. 
sudden he feels good serving that one down the middle and he's, he thinks, why not keep going for it? Right at this moment, it's my favourite. And he'll be feeling fairly invincible. His 14th time, obviously, the previous match that he's been able to win from match point down as well against Berrettini in the previous round. And it's interesting, isn't it? With this yeah. offensive mindset, is the ball is heavy off the Murray racket. It's just, it's got a penetration that's that's just not allowing Thanasi to to control or feel comfortable on the court now. That's what he's got to keep doing. He's got to keep reminding himself, A, how he got in position, but Murray's epic match in the previous round against Berrettini, he's got to keep making him work hard through the course of this fourth set. May not get the reward in this set, but he could get it in the fifth. so much dead time in tennis hasn't it but Andy always fills the space between the shots in the same way that music fills the space between the notes doesn't he and he just <laughs> he is a magnet for your eyes when you watch him sets to play all these different shots and it's recognizing as well isn't it on a pressure moment is just opponent going to go big or are they going to go smaller 10 Ks almost slower that second serve from Kokonakis Murray pounces and here's his chance and there was his chance brilliant serve from Kokonakis both these two keep raising the stakes yes. Advantage, 
20 minutes into the fourth set, we played one game. Kokonakis, I still feel as though there is an area there he can certainly improve on. He's been a little more definite to move into the net. There always seems to be a touch of hesitation. And this is what has been problematic as well for the Australian. Murray starting to get a better read. You can see how many first serves were under-returned in the opening set. Almost one in two, and it has steadily been in decline. And you'll feel that as a big server as well put a little pressure on you, you try to go for a little bit more. It's also the way it's being returned. There is zero hesitation at the moment for Andy when he's returning the ball, especially on the second serve. He's stepping in and he's hitting it with a lot of authority. The nuance of that lob, magnificent. It was Ken Rosewall-esque. He just had the perfect flight and pace, didn't it? Yeah, well, he, yeah, he, it was rising off the open strings. He gives it an extra bit of open string here just to push it, and it floats and gets past Kokonakis. Bit of genius there. Surely Cocky is starting to think, how can I put this guy away? Roger, any concern with Kokonakis and his physical condition here or not? Is he just looking a little worried about the situation on the scoreboard? Yeah. Look, I think physically he's definitely tailed off, but he's having to play a lot more points, hasn't he? And it's been the emotional, yes. the emotional energy used. It started with that uh, time violation, and then, um, and then obviously got into the tie break and, and dropping that set. Andy definitely looks the freshest player on the court. Well. If he's starting to feel the physicality, there's a chance that if this goes to five, this, will, this could last five and a half hours, this match. Could easily. So if he's waning now, I, 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 don't, I don't see it, though. Oh, gee, that's deft. That's a risk. A great skill. 
what a collection of creativity we've had in the opening two games of this fourth set already by these two. A match that at no stage has lost its intensity. Absolutely firing the turns back at Kokonakis at the moment. Yes. And the Australian is still trying to move it all over the service box, but Murray getting a good read on it. And as I say, there's been no drop off from Kokonakis in terms of speed so far. But this is wearing. 11 minutes of hard work for Kokonakis. Thank you. for Kokonakis. going to come in more and more but this time it, it needed explosive speed and at three hours and 56 minutes I'm not sure Lovely that's thing. the type of approach shot he wants to go in on Kokonakis there easily got there as you say right behind the ball beautiful shot good start to the game for Kokonakis Patch, what's Andy's service numbers now? What's the up at percentage? 70% of first serves in, 67% of first serve points won, which is a little low, and that but tribute to Kokonakis how well he's returned. That's the approach shot. You don't always know you're going to hit it that well, though. When you've made your mind up to move 30, forward, 50. you still have to produce the shot. And if you drop it a bit short, like the previous one, you can be in trouble. That one had the depth and width. But he certainly is looking to close the net down more and more. And maybe he senses Kokonakis not reacting quite as quickly on the passing shot as previously. Especially now, just gives Kokonakis a sniff here. Two millimeters out. That is the level of perfection they are extracting from each other for almost four hours. Oh. Oh, how can 
Because that's what it was. Yeah, and the threat comes from so many angles here, doesn't it? Where there's a lovely use of the slice here, and maybe something the Kokonakis can do a little bit more of, because Murray's got to then back up, and he's on the way back, and then he knows that he could tug it to his forehand or hit that shot. Didn't get enough on the slice. Break point, Kokonakis. So that was sluggish footwork, Roger, surely. It was. Yeah, there's some nerves there. And, it, and Andy, hats off to Andy because he was pushed into a corner there and he was able to generate pace and depth on that forehand into the backhand of Tomasi. Thank you. given that a nudge, isn't he? Advantage. There was nothing delicate about that. And no fluke either. We've seen him do it several times. He has the ability on this wing as well. You have to be precise there. Dynamite from Kokonakis. And is this another dagger that he can put into Murray here? The supercomputer whirling around inside Murray's mind comes up with a serve and volley play for the first time tonight. Magnificent. Yes. That's all I can say. At a time like that, with the tension, he's done all this work, and it's a significant point, break point in the fourth. He comes up with that. And, of course, Kokonakis is not waiting for it. He chips the ball high, trying to get depth. Genius. More and more he's coming forward. And the, the strength and, and agility from the other end is not as much. I think Kokonakis is two things he's going to have to do is start driving his forehand return, but also off that juice side, just running into his backhand corner for a bit. Are you, are you getting a, a feeling here, though? Like, oh. a, like a five-set feeling, Pitch? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> These have been three of the most complicated games of all time. I feel sorry for the fans that have been outside. They've just waited 35 times. And you know he's here till the end. Whatever time that may be. Four hours and four minutes. I'd like to say they're just warming up, but it, I can't comprehend that because at my age, there's a fine line between warmed up and worn out. <laughs> Pitch. But this is impressive. And 14 degrees down there as well on the court surface. Going to be 13 degrees soon as well. Thank it's you. getting cooler in the air. Roger was down there on the court, wrapped up in towels like a rag doll. So cool. Ball. So it's becoming more and more in favour of the guy who gets the big first hit in. I know it's been a bit that way the whole match, but the reaction of both of these athletes now is, is just a fraction slower than it was. If the opponent gets a big hit in early, they're struggling to defend as much. 11 minutes it took, 45 seconds for Kokonakis, almost eight minutes for Murray to hang on to his...
continue to enthrall and enchant us. 15. It's not just the back and forth in the, the scoreboard, but it's every single rally. And remember how one-dimensional Andy was for a couple of sets there. Now he's just using the full tennis court. As Roger saying, is trying to be more impactful out there. Look at that, 17 Ks up on his first serve return in this full set alone. Not just trying to get to the net behind his own serve and be more forceful, even off the return of the Kokonakis serve. <laughs> the Aussie takes the racket out of his hand again. He's feeling it a bit too Andy, isn't he? Well, this is what? the Berrettini assist, surely, at some stage, you would think. Why wouldn't he be feeling it? Yeah. He's going to need, if he wins this, he's going to need two days off to prepare for the next one, which he probably wouldn't get. By the time we get through this, he's going to be halfway through his day off. <laughs> We're already into his day off. hard to read Andy isn't it because you're not sure yeah. what's pain what's not what's just his the emotions that he shows us there's a bit of theater there too isn't there at times so a hundred percent but he's definitely got you know he, there's something there but he's not it's not restricting at all Ball. Turned to me and had the biggest laugh, smile at me. <laughs> that was the classic. Well, the only issue for me, he can't be blaming Letcourts for the position this match is in. It's been incredible tennis. Maybe he feels he's had the rub of the green a little bit in terms of luck. Whoever gets a break, if that happens in this fourth set, Four someone minutes. will then gain a lot of adrenaline, you would expect. Oh, 
goodness me, is he OK? He went over in his ankle, didn't he, a little bit? Well, that is... I think he's fine. Very difficult to watch when you know just what has happened to him in the past and everybody holding their breath for Fanasi Kokonakis right now. Saying, come on, guys, I'll buy you all breakfast. Yeah. It's 2.35 in the morning, fire up. All you guys have got to do is sit there and cheer me. <laughs> I'm doing the hard work out here, come on. <laughs> mm. But they paid and he's getting paid. Thank you. <laughs> Good logic, Mark. always wonders to what these great players do when they lose this in their life because it has to be a huge void a huge vacuum which is why he's worked so hard to continue to put himself in positions that he can be competing in these moments still that, that has to be the reason he's still here pitch he's relishing it and we're reveling in it every part of this court and I think parts of this court that not even the architect knows exist. They have covered so much ground. Sounds like the majority are going for cocky. <laughs> what are you thinking, Sir Andy? for Cocky because Murray is a better volley and he can cover and, and read this sort of stuff just a little bit better than most. Cocky's good around the net isn't he but he read this as well he read the drop shot nicely but again I would say that the drop's going to be far more effective at 240 in the morning yes. when it's this cold because it's going to stay lower than it would be in midday in the heat of Melbourne. Another significant moment, one of many we've seen so far. Any read on what he was saying there, Roger? I didn't know whether he, he looked like he was saying, I've got to get up and not back, but he was forced backwards there. Couldn't pick that up. I mean, this is the stuff of legends, isn't it? Yes.
Oh, oh. Gee, I thought he'd made it. That was a heck of a chip from Thanasi, but what a pick up from Andy. And I thought the last oh, pass was going over Pesh. Murray. Good stuff from Murray, though, isn't it? A change up at this stage. to his tennis. You think Ivan liked that one? He looks absolutely over the moon. Yeah, that was his happy face. Murray leads by four games to two. And there is why Murray's finding that a little more simple, because he's been doing it a lot more often, taking the ball inside the baseline. Kokonakis a little less effective, as you can see. Sets one and two, 26% of the shots inside the baseline. Murray almost 50% in this fourth set and you can incorporate into those numbers the, the amount of times he's going to the net too because it's dramatically increased it's it's really a winning game right now for him Spot. double the number of sores into the net for murray in this fourth set compared to kokonakis and Petra, i want you to find out one other statistic for me i'll let you know it after this point to know the number of forehands Thanas has been able to get after his serve. That first strike, is it the same as the first and second set? We'll look into it for you. You would certainly think that the second serve, Murray's been doing a better job of finding that backhand because he's been stepping in more. Less time for Kokonakis to get round it. I think logically, Roger, he's getting less forehands because he's not serving quite as much. Murray's getting a hold of the return a little bit more. And so he's not just blocking returns back as much. So there'll be less, surely. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. I'd, like to, I'd just like to see the differential because now it's just taken away the big weapon, the forehand, where he's been able to just take the racket out of your hand. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's going to need that shot to get out, to put himself back. A, in this set, but also in the fifth set, he's going to need that forehand. penetrating approach and getting forward. 40, 50. Well, he's just got so many options coming at him now. Don't forget the break point where Andy served and volleyed and got the chip return. He's forcing Kokonakis then drive the forehand, but then with the spin, it's staying a bit low. Ball. 
What does Kat Kokonakis do here, Rash? Does he, does he start serving and violating a little bit himself? Does he come in a bit more? Because Murray's just going to take the net away from him all the time from now. It's obvious. Yeah, there's got to be a pushback, doesn't there? But with that means you, you're going to play a little bit more high-risk tennis for him. But there needs to be something in this game. I mean, you look at the, you look at the stats and just the cold or tops of the situation and what faces uh, Kokonakis here, 26th ace, but, you know, he's gone in and he's won 56% of the points at the net. Murray, on the other hand, is sitting at 85%. You know, do you want to do a strategy that you're only going to win one out of two points? He's caught between a bit of a rock and a hard place right now. A little bit, but he's... He's losing a much higher percentage when the other guy comes in. He's just not moving as quickly. He's not in a position as much. No, he's just hitting the ball deep and looking like he's going to come in. Amazing. How matches change over time. Well, that was a test, and one that he passed. Thirteen. to serve first in the fifth, doesn't he? Kokonakis. Kokonakis standing tall. Right in the face of danger there. Showed a lot of courage in being able to deliver the first serves when he needed them. And this set is not out of his reach yet.
done that fairly infrequently since the opening set, hasn't he? And maybe that is something that he needs to do a little bit more of to get the rhythm back, not easy to suddenly reintroduce it. skill from Kokonakis. Tough to decide what was the better shot there, the slice down the line or the forehand cross. They were both magnificent. He's making a push here, isn't he, Cocky? All power to him here. Good courage, good character. And yes, plenty of skill on that point. This is probably the best crowd that I've ever been a part of at 3 a.m. in the morning. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Are we talking about the commentary crowd? <laughs> Kokonakis. Oh. oh, the stadium crowd, okay. <laughs> Break point. How brave will Kokonakis decide he wants to be here? Exhilarating and exhausting. Wow, what a way to save a break point. I mean, Kanasi here played a brilliant play. Brilliant. They're dragging a bit on the ground, but there's willpower in both of these guys. Found a 
or is it the fourth win? He's got energy all of a sudden, Rash. Yeah, that was a point from the first set, wasn't it? Well, the was able to control, get his, to get to his point and hit heavy, and Andy was doing the heavy defense. They've been far and few between, but that was a big moment there. I think Andy's going to have to get in this point. Thank you. Turning into one of the classics, and that's not exaggerating. Yes. it was going in set point It's 3 a.m. in Melbourne, and we're pulling an all-nighter. Andy Ram in a Davis Cup match Ready in 2006. Play. And that one against Vadasco at Wimbledon in 2013 enabled him to win his first Wimbledon. You never know. has lost once before from two sets to love up and that was in 2017 against Janko Tipsarovic. Lost the fourth set on a breaker there, half breaker for the Australian in the opening round. And as we start the fifth set, he sits on the edge of heartbreak or history. What will it be for the Australian? Good opener from 
Cocky. He looks like he's got more energy, doesn't he? And Larvey, he's into it. <laughs> Found some energy. Thank you. Ready for play. Can Andy do the same? Thank you. Such a tough volley. You've got nothing to work with. You're a long way from the net, and you've got to kind of punch it back past your opponent who's in a decent position. And the slice is going to take that ball off the racket face down into the net. You have to open the racket face here more than normal. Attached to the miss, etched on his face. That, however, may be a recurrence of some of the cramping that he had in the middle of last year and the end of last year as well that he's been looking into. if Murray is starting to feel a little cramp to make him work hard in that game. One apiece. This is the longest match of Kokonakis's career. Too many of those misses have there of late. I yeah, wonder who's annoyed with that opening point.
I mean, it's verging on the ludicrous how good it is at the moment. Such control of the tennis ball there from Kokonakis. A couple of absolutely glorious slice backhands down the line. Uncharted territory for him physically as well in terms of the time on the clock. It's good body language from him though, isn't it? He's got his chest puffed out right now. Kokonakis like a phoenix. Thank you. A dart and Kokonakis suddenly buoyed up. That belief that we saw in the opening couple of sets and a half is back. Thank you. It's a bit more speed on the off smash, doesn't he? He doesn't like the one out to the forehand, Andy. It's quite light out there, but... Really playing it safe on the overhead. Take your seats, please. Thank you. He's gone fast and hard into that backhand, hasn't he? He has yeah. tested it over and over again. It's not just directed traffic into it he is taking the ball earlier okay. and earlier and there is no way Kokonakis can find a way to get into his backhand corner and use his forehand it's his motor operandi now from now until the end of play best way for him to sort of penetrate the court and finish the point Reads the pass and lunges beautifully. 
Yeah, I don't know how slow that was, Fitzy. That was pretty, pretty damn good, mate. I'll tell you, from here. Still, I agree. He, had the, he read the play, but did some power in those thick quads of Andy's. He psychs me out with his between points uh, antics, Rog. He looks like he's cramping up every time in between points. <laughs> We're going to remember this for a long time, aren't we? <laughs> I'm not sure you would. <laughs> It'd be great, great theatre listening back to it. something else in the pot. Third Not an easy club. shot at all. There is beauty and then there is skill. And that had a touch of both. Rashid after that serve. I just never hit one that hard. <laughs> <laughs> it was all bluff. <laughs> See, if you're serving to that two-hander, you can expect it to come off the middle, can't you? From Murray. We are seconds away from five hours. Awesome from Kokonakis, literally. The green and gold in full voice, trying to urge their man on. Thank you. Ready for play, thank you. desperate to not be just another player who becomes a footnote in Murray's final autobiography. Some chapters many of us didn't think would be written, but he continues to defy the odds. final set it was a shot that he was just beating Murray with hands down in the opening couple of sets 
it's definitely the way home for him, isn't it? have the upper hand and, and he just he made himself push himself forward it was extraordinary to watch him mentally do that stage throughout the last five hours and five minutes at all but I mean the last couple of points for Murray have just proved how you play chess on a tennis court they got a cheap ticket tonight didn't they by the way full value seeing his son play but then a mother seeing his son suffer it'll be worth it if he went he is just about to pass a particular milestone in this game as well has found the firepower back on his forehand, the hardest he's hit it since the opening set from the Australian. That one a little wayward. And he can he stabilise things with his first serve. Okay. Murray sensing his chance. scale at the moment. Love and he's just had a shot at five hours and eight minutes of this match. 
which makes this the longest match of Murray's career. Just surpassed the one he played against Del Potro in the Davis Cup back in 2016. And he's doing it with a metal hip. It is unbelievable. Please. And we are honoured to watch it live. energy sustain Kokonakis for a fight back in this game. important shots he's had to hit tonight and it came with an incredible degree of difficulty and he has landed it salvation is still possible for Kakanakis Second serve. Advantage. Back from Juice. This is his first serve and hits this at 197. Well, the rationale Please. there to attack was obvious, but it was set up by the second Please. serve. Look at the heart on this man's face.
advantage for Kinakis. What's next? Well, I've, I've seen some good tennis, Rash, but I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head anyway that probably beats this. That's always a big statement, and you need to think about stuff like that, but off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Can Kokonaka save a fourth break point in this game? Sporting sense, it's uh, staggering stuff. This is some of the cleanest hitting I've seen Andy display through his career. And there's been a fair few good ones. after what had just unfolded in the previous game as well, where he lost four opportunities for somebody that returns as well as him. That would have been burning. 30 love. But he didn't allow it to ferment. Thank you.
14 club. Thank you. And you just love the, the no hesitation catch for Mandy. Big serve, 2 one almost five and a half hours gone. And, and just a look on Tanasi's face, it's relaxed. He may not be calm inside, but his external presentation is perfect. Okay. 
going for Gennady's. He wouldn't have pushed himself to get back here to give himself another chance after what happened in 2019. But here he is, still enthralling all of us. And his heart's desire tonight is to get past Kokonakis. I know he's gone there a lot, Patch, but 15.30, he had to get it spot on, didn't he? The Nazi was going after it. Please. Kokonakis's stroke making and firepower, or Murray's ability to defend, but both are awe inspiring and inspirational. Thank you. Thank you. up one of his biggest serves of the night still. And 
the show goes on, and what a show it is. Five At this length in time, when the bodies are hurting, the minds are fatiguing, their shot selection and their choices and their have been sublime. of the strategy 15, was just 13. unreal again from Murray. Forehand down the line, he looked for the slice back from Kokonakis. Got his forehand into play. And there wasn't a moment's hesitation from the Scot. Four break points in this set. He hasn't been able to convert. Can he do so now? The break point, seventh of the set. Oh. 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 
Jesus. Barely miss hit a ball for the last two hours. For an eighth time this set, can Kokonakis keep Murray at bay? Getting the type of reception and ovation they deserve. Thank you. But have the stars finally aligned for Murray under the Melbourne Please. night sky?
Five hours and 44 minutes it's taken for Murray to get to match point. Ball. memorable nights here in Melbourne of anyone's lifetime. Andy Murray somehow masters Kokonakis in the greatest comeback of his career, in the longest match of his career. And whatever you thought was impossible, he made possible tonight.